Well, this weekend has gotten off to a horrible start with several fatalities on Alabama roadways. Good evening, I'm Sherry Jackson. We now know that a 33-year-old man was killed in an early morning crash in Clanton. A 44-year-old lost his life after being hit by a car while crossing Highway 280. WIT 42 News reporter Mike McClanahan is live on 280 right now, and he's bringing us the facts surrounding that deadly collision to light. Mike? Well, Sherry, firefighters tell me there were actually three people crossing Highway 280 right in front of Logan Steakhouse here, which is right behind me. They say that two made it across, but one of them, Christian Hasford, was struck by an eastbound vehicle just shy of the grass. Now, the Shelby County coroner tells me Hasford was 44 years old. Firefighters say he died on the scene. The driver stopped just up the road, according to Birmingham police. Now, this happened late at night, and Lieutenant Sean Edwards says there is very little light on this part of 280. There was no suspicion of DUI, and at this point, no charges have been filed against the driver. Hasford's family is from out of state, and it's unclear if he was walking from the hotel behind the restaurant or somewhere else. It's not even safe to drive on 280. Uh, it's, uh, it's crazy. Uh, I wouldn't even, you know, the way they got it designed, this is crazy. They need to do something. Now, this is the second pedestrian to be killed on this part of Highway 280 in a matter of months. A woman was struck and killed less than a half a mile down the road near Chick-fil-A back in August. Now, coming up at 6 o'clock, I'll bring you the perspective of a man who has to walk across 280 every day just to get back and forth between work and home. Live in Birmingham, Mike McClanahan, WIAT 42 News. Coverage you can count on.